Chapter 73, The Header Little children are given as an example of how our attitude towards life should be. When the Lord comes, doctors, businessmen, religious leaders and politicians will suffer great sorrow and embarrassment because of the things that they hear coming from the Lord's mouth. Television is used by Satan to project his image to the world. 1. And now, all ye of the latter days unto whom these things shall be revealed in this sealed portion of this record. Yea, do ye not see the great destruction that shall come upon the nations of the earth at the coming of the Lord in his glory? How many more words must I use to give unto you in plainness that which shall come to pass because of your wickedness and abominations before God? 2. Behold, all the nations upon the face of the earth shall be in a constant state of turmoil and unrest until the coming of the Son of God in his righteousness. 3. Yea, Satan shall have great power over the hearts of the leaders of these nations, and the few who are the rich and powerful shall rule and reign over the majority of the people, who are those of you who support your leaders in their wickedness and give unto them their power. 4. For behold, these leaders would not have any power except it be given unto them by the people whom they lead. 5. And ye are this people who have given them their power, and ye listen to their words of flattery, and ye see their lives, which are lives of wealth and leisure, and ye worship them, and envy that which they possess. 6. And they make vain promises unto you that ye also can have all that they have which ye begin to believe, dedicating your lives and your desires to becoming like your leaders. 7. And ye shall think that they are righteous and good and honourable men of the earth because of their success and their power that ye have given unto them. But ye shall not know of their secret combinations which they have established among them to maintain control over your hearts and your minds. 8. And like sheep who have lost their way, ye shall follow these wolves, who are dressed in the skins of sheep, so that they might not be discovered among the flock, and ye shall follow them to your own destruction. 9. And now, my beloved brothers and sisters, think in and of the Spirit for a moment, yea, take no thought of the world for a moment, but listen to the words that I am commanded to give unto you by the power of the Holy Spirit, which is with me. 10. Ye know that your hearts and desires are set upon the things of the world. Ye know that ye do aspire for the honours and glories of men, which ye believe shall give you the fine things of the world and make your life happier and more at peace. 11. But I ask of you, are ye at peace having these things? Yea, doth not your souls become burdened because of your desires for the things of the world? Do ye not see how the soul is corrupted when it desireth these things? 12. And if ye have these things, yea, if all the riches and glory and honours of men were given unto you, then do ye think that ye would be happy? I say unto you that ye would not be happy. 13. And ye need not take my opinion of this, but look at those who have the power and the riches and all the fine things of the world. Are they happy? ye know that they are not happy, even though they have all the things that ye desire and on which ye have set your hearts. 14. Behold, can ye find one of them among you who is happy and righteous? I say unto you that ye cannot find one of them among you. And if there is one among you that claimeth that he is happy because of the things which he hath accumulated for himself, or the power that hath been given him, then ye can know of a surety that he lieth to you and covereth up a multitude of his sins, that they might not be known unto you. 15. And now I ask of you, who among you is truly happy in all things? Yea, who is there among you that loveth his life, and cherisheth the hours of each day that they are alive, and smileth upon the thought that they exist, and not upon the thought of how they should exist by consuming the things of the world upon their flesh? 16. Behold, who among you can be given a rock of no value, and find joy with that rock, and cherisheth it, and throweth it to the pleasure of his soul? 17. Yea, who among you is not concerned about money, or prestige, or the honours and glories of men? 18. 
Yea, these whom ye find among you who are this way are those who are truly happy. And these are your little ones, your children, the flesh of your flesh, even those who have been given to you by the Father to be an example unto you in all things. Yea, these are the happiest among you. 19. These are they who live without hatred one towards another. These are they of whom the Lord spoke when he said, Except ye become as a little child, ye shall in no wise inherit the kingdom of God. 20. And now, my brothers and sisters, how many among you are like unto your little children? I say unto you that ye are not like unto little children, but ye teach your children to become like unto yourselves, ye being miserable and dissatisfied with the life that the Father hath given unto you. 21. And ye show an example unto your children of how they should be, which example is given unto your children by your works, which are the works of Satan that can only bring temporary joy to you in that moment that ye receive the reward for your works. 22. And ye teach your children to do the works that ye do, or the works of Satan, that they too might have this temporary joy that cometh from the blessings of Satan, for doing his works and keeping his commandments. 23. And the blessings of Satan are your fine clothing that ye wear, the fine houses that ye live in, the money that ye have, which can purchase any of the fine things of the world. 24. And your children see your examples in these things, and your desires to have these things, and they see that ye spend all the days of your lives in search of these temporal blessings of Satan, which he giveth to you as ye deserve them. 25. And your children witness when ye receive these things from Satan, and they see the temporary joy that these things seem to bring unto you when ye receive them. But ye do not show unto your children the misery that cometh from these things. 26. Yea, your children do not know of the wickedness that ye harbour in your hearts in your pursuit of these things. Neither do they know of their fathers who lust after other women who are not the mothers of their children, and the mothers who lust after the things of the world for themselves. 27. Yea, your children do not see that which is in your foreheads, or the thoughts of your minds, even the mark of the beast that is in your foreheads and in your right hands, and the misery that cometh from your pursuit of these things they see not. 28. Behold, they cannot see these things, for ye hide them from your children, and because they only see the temporary happiness that cometh from acquiring the things of the world, they do not understand the eternal peace and happiness that they are promised by their God, who is their Father in heaven. 29. And ye take them to your churches, and teach them to listen to the leaders of your churches, whom ye present unto them as the mouthpieces of God on earth. 30. And these leaders also are the successful and affluent men of the earth, as ye have taught your children that they should become. And they begin to do the things which ye teach them to do by your own example, and also by the example of those who ye claim are the examples of God upon the earth. 31. Behold, how many of you teach your children to pattern their lives after Christ and his teachings? Yea, how many of you teach these innocent ones, who were happy in the beginning, that Christ hath given already unto them an example that they should follow in all things? 32. Yea, there are many of you who say these things to your children, yet by your examples and the examples of the leaders of your churches, your children become confused and know not where to find the true example of the way in which they should live their lives. 33. But ye have the scriptures before you, and many of you proclaim to your children that the scriptures are the word of God, and that they should live by the scriptures, and do that which is commanded of them therein. Yet do ye live by these same words? 34. I say unto you that ye do not, for ye are hypocrites, and do not read and understand the scriptures for yourselves. And because of your wickedness as parents, ye have offended the little ones of whom Christ spoke when he said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. 35. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. 
And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. 36. Woe unto the world because of offences. For it must needs be that offences come. But woe to that man by whom the offence cometh. Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you, that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father which is in heaven. 37. Behold, all of you who have received my words in this record, that hath been sealed to come forth at the time of the greatest wickedness that hath ever existed upon the face of the earth, know ye not that ye are offending the children, even all those who have the countenance of the Father written upon them? 38. Know ye not that when these children grow up, and become like unto you, that they shall suffer as ye have suffered? 39. And if ye have not suffered in the flesh, because ye believe that ye have prospered, and have lived peacefully all the days of your lives, truly ye shall suffer when ye are dead, and have given up the flesh, and as a spirit ye see the fruits of the works of your flesh, and the way that ye have offended your little ones. 40. For your children and the children of your children shall be those who suffer at the great and dreadful day of the Lord. They are the ones who shall live upon the earth at a time of exceedingly great turmoil and unhappiness because of the works of their parents before them. 41. And ye who shall be dead shall see the fruits of your works and the turmoil and pain of the suffering of your children and shall not be able to take back the example that ye have given unto them in the flesh. Neither shall ye be given the power to teach them according to the things of the Spirit. 42. For during the days of your flesh with your children, ye taught them to set their hearts upon the things of the world, and the desires and honours of men. And since their hearts are continually concentrating on these things, do ye think that they shall listen to the Spirit, and receive guidance from God? 43. And if they do not listen to the Holy Ghost, and those who have been commissioned to minister from the spirit world to your children in the flesh, do ye think that they shall listen to you? 44. Yea, those of you who have spent the days of your probation constantly denying the Holy Spirit because of your pursuit of the fine things of the world, yea, ye shall be in a state of unquenchable hell and torment as ye witness that which shall come to pass to your children in the flesh. 45. For your children shall see the great and terrible day of the Lord. Yea, they shall be in the flesh when the Lord cometh, and with his mouth, which is the sword of his power, he shall subdue the nations of the earth, and cause that your children shall drink of the cup of his indignation, and feel of his wrath. 46. Now, do ye think that his wrath shall be a wrath of anger? Do ye think that the sword which proceedeth forth from his mouth shall be wielded in anger? I say unto you that it is impossible for the Lord to become angry, as ye are accustomed to become angry one with another. But his anger is a righteous indignation, which is wielded in love for all men. 47. And John hath given you the revelation, and hath told you that his name is called the Word of God. And it is the word of God that shall cause your children to weep and wail and gnash their teeth in pain and misery and be tormented by that which cometh out of the mouth of the Lord at that time. 48. For your children shall hear the words of the Lord and shall begin to see the enormous error of the things that ye have taught unto them and the deceptions that they were led into because of your examples. 49. For they shall hear that their honours and their glories which they receive from men, and also the precious and fine things of the world that they were taught by you to desire, are the things which the Lord hateth, and which he despiseth according to his words. 50. And they shall see that the Lord shall call forth the poor, and the meek, and those who did not receive the mark of the beast in their forehead, and were those whom your children mocked, and ridiculed, and imprisoned for the way in which they desired to live their lives, even according to the Spirit of God that was in them. 
51. And your children who have spent the days of their probation pursuing the honours and the degrees of a lawyer or a doctor or a businessman or drug in the economy of the beast, and who have all lived deliciously with the whore of the earth, and have acquired many things because of the whore, yea, these shall the Lord despise. 52. For they have spent their lives in pursuit of those things which brought riches unto them, when they could have used their talents and their time and the intellect of their spirit to bring peace upon the earth. 53. And your children shall witness all the great leaders among men, and all those who have received praise and adoration from men, even those who are set up because of their popularity in athletics, and in the image of the beast which shall be broadcast upon the housetops of all the people of the earth. 54. Behold, this image shall be broadcast by way of what ye shall call that which shall give unto you a vision, or an image of the beast, by way of the undulations of natural impulses that are cast in the air and underground and received into each household of the earth, even upon the housetops, deceiving those who have given their hearts and minds to the beast who hath caused this miracle and given his image unto them. 55. And by this means shall the whole earth be deceived by Satan, and the people of the earth shall learn of him those things which he would teach unto them. 56. And there shall be many who are made popular and rich from the transmissions of the image of the beast upon the world, and these shall be despised by the Lord when he cometh to judge the world. 57. And your children who honour and give adoration unto them shall suffer with them, for they shall see the error of their ways, and will not be able to look upon the Lord in their wickedness, having desired the things of Satan all the days of their lives. 58. And those among you who are doctors of the flesh, and have spent all the days of your youth in pursuit of the knowledge of medicine, so that ye might become rich, and be set up above others, Yea, what shall ye think when the Lord shall come forth and heal with only his touch? 59. Of what use then is the waste of your lives in pursuit of these things, which ye believe are noble and great? Yea, there are many of you who believe that which ye pursue is noble and great and is necessary so that the children of men might be healthy and happy. 60. But I say unto you that they are not healthy and happy, because they follow the course that Satan hath set before them, which is a course of indulgence and laziness, which causes the people of the earth to need the doctors that are taught the ways of Satan, so that they can heal the rewards of these ways. 61. And when the Lord cometh in the glory of the Father, what then shall ye doctors say unto him? Shall ye say unto him that ye have created more happiness upon the earth because of your knowledge and the way that ye have deceived those who looked up to you as the saviours of the flesh? 62. Shall ye say these things when ye realise that the spirit world is a place of a much greater peace and happiness than mortality? And had ye not healed many of the people of those ailments that would have caused them to go home to the spirit world from whence they came? then they would have been much happier spirits there than the life that ye have given unto them because of your medicines and your ways, which keep them alive that they might pay you for your services and enrich you with the fine things of the world which ye desire. 63. Woe unto the doctors of the flesh when the Lord cometh in his glory. 64. Yea, woe unto the doctors of the soul, or those of you who have set yourselves up as counsellors, and the spiritual advisers of another, and the leaders of every church that hath been set up among men shall also be despised by the Lord, and cut asunder by the sword that cometh forth from his mouth. 65. For he shall witness in that day against them because of their works, and your children shall see the Lord ignore those who thought of themselves as his prophets and apostles, his ministers and his evangelists, his priests and his popes, his bishops and his pastors. 66. And all those who have enriched themselves because of the word of God shall be cast down and tormented by that which the Lord shall tell them in that day. 67. 
and they shall come forth and kneel before him crying Lord Lord have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works 68 and then shall the Lord command them to arise and depart from before him for he shall not recognize their works which are not his works but the works of Satan 69 for those who profess to be his prophets and apostles, his ministers and his evangelists, his priests and his popes, his bishops and his pastors, who do not live their lives as he lived his, are not his servants. 70. And therefore he hath said, By their works ye shall know them. And now look at those who profess to you in the latter days that they are the servants of the Lord and the prophets, and the seers, and the revelators of the will of God. Yea, how do these men dress? Yea, in what manner of houses do they live? Yea, how much money, and honor, and status do they receive in the world? Yea, in fine, how much do they actually live as our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ lived? 71. I say unto you that they do not live like Jesus lived nor do they teach the things that Jesus taught by their examples, but they give unto the people of the earth an example of the works and glory of Satan. 72. For it is Satan who desireth the prestige and honor and glory of men. It is Satan who desireth gold and silver and the fine and precious things of the earth. And all of these things he hath given unto those who serve him and keep his commandments. 73. And there shall not be any religion upon the face of all the earth that shall be the religion that shall be accepted by the Lord when he cometh. But all of them shall be rejected by him, because their works are evil and are not based upon the word of God as it was given by Christ. 74. And in the day of the Lord shall the leaders of the governments of men come unto the Lord for his blessing and his acceptance of him. But in their desire they shall be sorely disappointed. For the sword of his mouth shall tell them that they have been the leaders of the nations of Satan, and have done those things that Satan hath commanded them, and inspired them to do. 75. For these are the men who have received greatness and honor from those whom they lead, having deceived those whom they lead by their riches, and their flatterings, and their promises of peace and prosperity. 76. And when these leaders die, they receive great honor and praise from the world. Yea, they have long funeral processions which those who love them and followed after them give unto them in a memory of their works. 77. And now, I would ask of those of you in the latter days, who honor and praise your leaders and give them great glory, yea, what do ye think of the manner in which Christ was honored and praised by the world? 78. Yea, how doth the funeral procession of the greatest soul who ever lived in the flesh compare to that of your leaders, who are the perpetuators and promulgators of the plan of Lucifer? 79. I say unto you, that every one of your leaders who receiveth the glories and honors of men, receiveth these things from Satan, who is the God that they followed while they led you. 80. For the world loveth them, and giveth them the honor which they sought, and ye can assure yourselves that the greater the glory and honor that they received of the world, the more wicked they were in the leadership that they gave unto the people. 81. And ye should judge all men according to the life of Christ and his works, and not according to the works and lives of those whom ye have accepted as the great men among you. For these same great men shall not be able to stand in the presence of the Lord when he cometh in the glory of the Father. 82. And those of you who are the businessmen and the merchants of the earth, who have gained your wealth by the economy of the beast, and the blessings that Satan affordeth to all those who seek to perpetuate his plan, yea, do ye think that ye shall escape the wrath of God at that day? Do ye think that ye shall find any justification of your riches? 83. Behold, as the history of the peoples of the earth is revealed unto you in this record, ye shall see that the merchants and rich men of the earth are those who cause most of the misery and unhappiness that is experienced in mortality.
84. And there shall not be one of you who is considered rich by the standard of the world. Yea, no, not one, that shall be justified in your riches in the day of the Lord. And ye shall not be able to stand before the Lord because of your riches. 85. And ye are those of whom the Lord made reference when he spoke to the Jews, saying, When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, which the Father hath given unto him. 86. And before him shall be gathered all the nations of the earth, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats when they come unto him to feed. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. 87. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world, even the glories of the kingdom of my father. 88. For I was unhungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in, naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me, and in prison, and ye came unto me. 89. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee unhungered, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? 90. And the king shall answer, and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these of my brethren, ye have done it unto me. 91. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels, which is the kingdom that ye have chosen for yourselves. 92. For I was unhungered, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me not in. Naked, and ye clothed me not. Sick, and in prison, and ye visited me not. 93. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee unhungered, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? 94. Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye did it not to one of the least of these, ye did it not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. 95. And thus shall it be unto all of you who have great riches of the latter days. Yea, even those of you who have two coats, and imparteth not to him that hath none. Ye shall suffer the same, even all of you who have made money from your businesses and your merchandise. Ye shall suffer for that which is of an abundance that ye keep for yourselves, when there are others who are in need. 96. A word of wisdom I give unto those of you who are rich as to the things of the world. Remember the widow and her might, for in this is the foundation of righteousness. 97. He who hath an ear to hear, let him hear and understand. End of chapter 73.